Hi, we're scientists from the Measurement Standards Laboratory, New Zealand's National Metrology Institute. In 2019, the International System of Units has undergone some major changes, and that includes the redefinition of kilogram, which is the unit of mass. One way the kilogram can be realised is via a system called a kibble balance. Here, we have a Lego version of the kibble balance. Although it is not as accurate as the actual kibble balance, but it can show you how it works. Kibble balances have two measurement modes, weighing and moving. In weighing mode, we place an unknown mass on one pan. We then provide a balancing force using electricity and magnets. How do we do that? We run an electrical current through the coil, and that becomes a magnet. This interacts with a permanent magnet, which is hiding underneath in here. The beam holding the two pans is free to pivot around a central point. A laser pointer and a light sensor track the beam so that we can tell when it's balanced. When the beam is balanced, the current in the coil is proportional to the mass on the pan. In moving mode, we take the mass off the pan and we turn off the current. And then we move the coil back and forth through the magnetic field at a constant velocity. We drive this movement by using an electromagnetic force generated by a similar setup of a coil and magnet on the other side of the balance beam. This induces a voltage in the coil. Comparing the electrical current from weighing mode with the induced voltage of moving mode leaves a simple equation that allows us to measure mass. In a real cable balance, electrical measurements are linked to the Planck's constant, which is the fundamental constant in nature. By making a connection between the kilogram and Planck's constant, Stable, accurate mass measurements can be made anywhere in the world without relying on a physical artefact. Here at the Measurement Standards Laboratory, we are building our own cable balance to realise the national primary kilogram for New Zealand. 